Let's do some turkey flyby. Gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Well, today we got a little bit of a problem. We have turkeys out there that I need to move to our old garden area to clear out. And I've had I've been having a lot of problems with this fence charger of mine. I've had this charger for about four years and it's been giving me some problems. And well, what I found is I couldn't get this battery to charge. Obviously, tested it, battery is bad. So I went and got a brand new battery. Um, she came charged and then I had her out in the field. Then I saw that my goats got out. <laughs> now, I was like, what is going on with this charger? Cause I thought it was a good battery or a bad battery, should I say. So, you know, I replaced the battery, put it out there in the field. I thought perhaps, you know, I had like probably, I don't know, 400 feet of uh, poultry netting on this charger. And there was a lot of weeds and stuff. And I thought maybe that's what brought this uh, battery down. Maybe it was a dead short out there. So I took it back, brought it down to the shop and I charged the battery. Got a full charge of the battery, got her running, got her clicking and uh, let her sit for a few days. And then I went back and she was dead again. So what I did is I tested my charger, my solar panel here, and I was getting 22 volts out of this DC. So I know this is working. Now I'm to the point where I was regretting getting into, I think I have something inside here that is obviously bad. Well, they say that you shouldn't get into these chargers. They're, they've got like a rivet system on there. They're not really designed for you to open them up. And they say that you need a specialist to, to work on this. Like you should send this off to somebody. Well, a lot of people I don't know. I mean, they said I'm special, so I'm going to give it a shot because I'm all about trying to fix things here on the homestead and not sending things out. I'm hoping it's like something really simple, like a diode came loose, something broke, because there's one thing that I've noticed that is uh, wrong with this charger, and it's it's blatant, but I, I still get a, um, a good positive test out of the positive uh, end of the terminal. Let me show you. This thing just spins. Spin, 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 spins. It doesn't bind up or anything, but when I do test it, you know, I get it and it, it hits hard. I mean, it hits really hard. Like, you need to be careful, otherwise it'll arc out and get you. I've never done this before. This is not really a guide or informational video. I'm just gonna show somebody who may wanna watch me do this and hopefully I can find something easy that that's the problem. If y'all hear those turkeys in the background hollering, that's, I apologize, but. I got about 12 of those dang things and they're ready for butcher. Uh, one thing I'll say is this is really fairly easy to take apart. Just popping this cover off. Um, probably the hardest part is getting this big heavy battery out with only three fingers. Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. Uh, looks like my negative did pop off. That might have happened when I was pulling it out. But let's, uh, just to be sure, Let's put that back together before I go and drill this thing and get into it. Uh-oh. Ah, great. So now she's hitting. When I checked this other day, it was running. It was ticking just like this. And I let it run and I let it tick and I let it tick and it was, it was doing its thing. And when I went to check on it again, it was way down low on power. So I figured there was a problem. So that negative cable had come off somewhere down the line. Um, I still, I know I still have a problem because something inside here killed this battery. I'm wondering if my wire that goes to my circuit board down here is very loose and or it's shortened out somewhere in there. But this charger, it works as it should. It's just the solar panel with the new battery cannot keep up with the load. And when I mean load, I mean absolutely no load. It couldn't keep up with just nothing on here sitting in the sun. It would get all the way down in the red. So something's telling me either this panel is not getting a charge through here fast enough or I got a diode out, something. We're gonna find out. Let me take this apart. I am 
not see anything alarming and that sucks oh look at that see how loose that is i mean she's getting a good charge but maybe maybe just maybe when you have a loose connection on a positive side of anything she draws a lot it'll draw a lot of uh, resistance so let's get this bad boy back in its old notch and tighten her up i think that's what the problem is because like i said this thing this thing works like a champ it just it just is drawing itself down to nothing i'm not seeing any cracks in that diode there usually you'll find those split from what i've seen online um no obvious burn spots i do see a little ant right there i don't know if you can I don't know if you, this will focus, but there is a little ant there. Let's pop this board out, see what's behind there. Just, just since we already got this taken apart. Not seeing anything on the bottom there. Well, well I guess the only thing we can do is put her back together. And uh, see if that was our issue. Let's get it back together. Alright, so I'm just going to utilize these guys that I kind of I drilled out already. And I'll just run the screws from the back side and get them to thread in. She might spin on the back side, but we ain't building pianos here, folks. But now, yeah. So the first one gives it like a function test. Second one gives it what I know is a checks your battery charge. And then when the third one kicks on, you're live and you're rocking and rolling. So, so we'll let this run. Oh, I, I'd say it's probably about nine o'clock right now. Almost probably about 930. We'll let it run. We're going to check on it about, I don't know, we'll say seven o'clock at night. And uh, she's working right. She'll be holding strong. So, all right, it's about 730 at night. I'm going to get out here before the sun uh, really goes down. We don't have any light for the camera. Even though these GoPros, they, they work pretty good in low light situations. Let's walk down there and see if this thing's still charging. This thing's working. You guys are uh, you guys are moving to a new home. Tell you what, because they've got this whole area just tore up. Used to have grass in there. Right? I mean, that's no joke. They eat turkeys, oh man. I don't know. This is the first time I've raised this many turkeys. I'll, I'm going to put them somewhere where they can roam next time. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put them in this. So this is our garden. We're about done with it. There's really much nothing left of the tomatoes. Corn. Oh, we got some jalapenos. Uh, bell peppers. Yeah, maybe a little one here and there. But turkeys are going to go after this like no one's business. I'm gonna let them clear this all out. All right, the moment we've been waiting for. I hope this works because I'm about fed up with this thing, honestly. Let's see here. Oh yeah, she is going strong, boys. Look at that. Full, 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 full. I'm not convinced yet, I am not convinced. I've had that thing burn me more times than not. Like I said, I had goats all the way out on the back property. No electricity to be had out there. Counted on that fence charger. And it went dead. Goats everywhere. I'm lucky they didn't get in the neighbor's yard. What we're going to do is we're going to wait till morning. Yes. If that thing can last all morning all afternoon with the, on a sunny day. It was a little cloudy today. If they can make it through the night, I'll be back out here 8, 30, 9, 30 in the morning. We'll give it a full 24 hours. We'll see if that thing's still kicking or not. Then we'll know. What's going on? Turkeys are extremely curious, I'll tell you that. Yeah, he's missing an eyeball. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> There's a camera in my face. 
Yeah, he's missing an eyeball. He's he, he's a little he's a little funny, but he's a survivor. He is a survivor. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now the ducks on their hand, those guys are they're the crew. They they march through here. But regardless, if that thing is still going by, say 9:30 tomorrow morning, we're putting turkeys in that garden. How's that sound, guys? All right, I'll see you tomorrow at 9:30. Stay tuned. Yeah, they're excited. Let's do it. All right, it's about 10.30. I got a little late. Had to deal with some work stuff. But we're going to go check that charger. But I want to show you, we have a couple escapees out. Anybody who owns goats knows you just can't contain these guys. What? I know it's been a while since I posted, but we're up to about eight goats now. We're a little too much, but we've been using them to clear this whole area out. We're trying to clear this whole woods thing out and do something with it besides just overgrown stuff but let's go check out this charger see if it's still on i hope it is all right i just watched the goats just get out of here they're eating all the good stuff Ooh, i might i might have to hold off on that i got some some bells trying to pop out mama will like that another thing anybody grows tomatillo peppers do you guys have a lot of volunteer plants afterwards because I planted them last year in my whole garden now that I let it just go rogue it's just covered in tomatillos so I get a second crop of tomatillos this year without any trying so that's cool I hear it ticking that's what I'm talking about yes that's awesome it's good news that thing is that thing is going strong yes all right well i'm not gonna bring the goats did i say goats i'm not gonna bring the turkeys out and fence this in on this video because that'd make way too long of a video but what we're gonna do is we're gonna let them out in free range because that's what we do we let them free range um every day and then they naturally go back in here and roost so it's not like they live their whole life in this dirt pen they do go out and about and do their thing the bed problem with that the big issue we have with that is they leave big nasty bear dumps everywhere they go all over the driveway and then with that yeah 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 big nasty bear dumps well i hope you guys stay tuned for uh these turkeys on this garden when i leash them on there i'll kind of do a uh play by play to see how long it takes them to destroy all that stuff so we'll see how that goes but that'll be in the next video appreciate you guys watching See you next time.